wouldn't they reflect upon the creation of camels? Camels are included in a family of mammals known as ungulates or hooved mammals. Camels are known as even-toed ungulates with hooves of a thick tissue of fat. Their gait and widened feet help them move about without sinking in the sand. The camel's long legs, in harmony with long necks, assist in brisk moving. They also help in keeping their bodies further from the ground, which can heat up to 7 degrees Celsius. The humps are actually reservoirs of fatty tissue, thus minimizing the insulating effect fat would have if distributed over the rest of their bodies, helping camels survive in hot climates. The camel's thick coats insulate them from the intense heat radiated from the desert, as well as sandstorms and insect bites. Camels are able to withstand changes in body temperature ranging between 34 and 40 degrees Celsius. That would kill most other animals. To everybody's astonishment, rising temperatures inside the camel's bodies do not kill them unlike other mammals. They are physiologically adapted to resist a shortage of oxygen by slowing down the metabolism process. Red blood cells in most animals are able to expand to 150% of their initial size. Astoundingly, camel red blood cells are able to expand to 240% of their initial size. As a result, camels are able to hydrate their blood much more when given an opportunity to drink water and thus can survive for long periods of time in a desert environment. Do they who disbelieve not look with reflection at the form of camels? How wondrously they are created! A book of imperishable wonders.